So often I'm asked, how do you stay so motivated? Where do you get your discipline from? I wish I had the commitment like you. Well, I'm here to tell you this journey, it doesn't come easy and I'm a long way from where I want to be. Within this last year, I've tried to only focus on what I can control. My thoughts, my habits, my meal choices, my workouts, and how I spend my free time. Today is Sunday. I don't like wasting my time and I always feel the need to be productive. Too much lying around or relaxing makes me feel guilty. Is that right? Of course not, <laughs> but it's something I'm working on. We don't always have to take life so seriously. I don't have to be so uptight about a schedule or missing a workout or having too many glasses of wine during the week. I do believe there needs to be some consistency. I like to clean, but sometimes I don't feel like it. I like to cook, but sometimes I wanna order pizza. The top of the week gives you a chance to start over. I prioritize working out no matter what. It's non-negotiable. It's my own therapy session. I'm doing something for me that makes me feel good and keeps my spirits high. I've been through a lot. And as I said earlier, I'm working on letting things go that I can't control. So since I can control my gym sessions, I'm gonna make the most of it. I like journaling out my workouts on paper. There's something about an old fashioned pen and paper that makes me stay on track. Life has gotten so unpredictable and I have two jobs. So I stick with weekly plans because in my eyes, small wins lead to the greatest outcomes. Stretching and meditation is so overlooked. I stretch three times a week for at least 20 minutes. I'm definitely not advanced in mobility or flexibility. And I was so sore today, but it's just so important to recover your muscles, just as important as it is to work them. I just cut on some soothing jazz music or some calm meditation sounds, tune in with my breathing and just try to find some stillness. my mind races and I have a hard time staying focused on tasks sometimes. My boyfriend says my squirrel brain really takes over. So these few minutes are a time not to worry about what's happening for the rest of the week or even the rest of the day. Just be present with myself right here, right now. I spend so much time in the kitchen and it's the one room in our home that gets cleaned the most. Dishes, cleaning out old food in the fridge, reorganizing the cabinets, disinfecting countertops and getting grime off the backsplash and the range hood. Our kitchen table gets piled up with mail, grocery bags and other items throughout the week. So clearing everything out is just so satisfying. I swiffer during the week, but I try to do a thorough mop to really pick up the dirt tracked inside every now and then. Plus, it just makes the house smell so fresh. Getting enough fruits and vegetables in is definitely a challenge on its own. We can all benefit from more of them. I'm not strict at all with my eating on Sundays, but smoothies are a great way to jam pack them in, especially during a busy day. I like my smoothies to be simple with little ingredients. Some people don't like protein powder, but I struggle getting my protein intake in with just whole foods. Protein doesn't need to be an end goal and it doesn't need to be an obsession but I am mindful of it since I'm exercising so often and I really wanna reap those benefits. I've done all the cleaning that I want to do around the house. After all, this is my off day. I did take some time to declutter my drawers, clean my makeup brushes, and do a tad bit of laundry. Some cleaning is better than no cleaning and when everything is in place, it really does motivate you to have a good and productive week. 
I love hearty, feel good, comfort food on a Sunday night. We decided to have chili tonight. I just used kidney beans, corn, diced tomatoes, ground turkey, and some chili mix for seasoning. I prefer to shower at night, and I do my skincare in the shower as it's literally only three to four steps. But I showered in the afternoon today, so I figured I'd just close the video here, letting any pressure or unrealistic expectations go down the drain. No one has it all figured out, but if we're showing up and giving 100% on whatever we want to accomplish each day, then that's enough. I hope that this video gave you some type of motivation or some type of inspiration, or if nothing else, just give yourself some grace. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.